Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching how to install Neiman um, Network Monitoring Tool. It's very similar to Nongio, so it uses the Nongio's core, and it also uses the Thruck web interface to monitor your servers, your, your system. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm installing the server on a virtual um, machine. Um, the most important part to realize, I mean to keep track of, is that I'm using a bridge adapter so that my physical machines on my physical network can see this virtual machine as a physical machine. That allows me to be able to access the, the web, Thruck web interface from my Mac computer. Um, if you don't do that, only the internal network machines are going to be able to access Neiman, not your Mac. Um, so keep that in mind if you're using KVM or another virtual environment, you're going to have to create a bridge adapter. Unless you want to just access it through the ins to be inside the, your internal network, and you can just leave it as uh, a NAT. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to be SSHing. I don't like using the VirtualBox interface, so I already SSHed into it. So I'm inside the machine right here. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to install some Linux packages. So go ahead and just do you know, minus y install impel release okay so mine says nothing to do because I had already installed it um, prior to this video and then most of the things that I'm going to be showing are already installed but yours you should you should be able to install it after that we're gonna install some um, CentOS 7 Red Hat repositories that include Thruk and Neiman. Without this um, Red Hat repositories, you won't be able to install Red Hat or Neiman. So go ahead and do RPM um, minus UBH HTTPS labs.console.de repo stable rel7 I386 labs console stable dot org dot rpm so again mine and mine it's already installed but you should see 100% 100% here and you and install it. Okay, so once that's installed, we're going to install um, Neiman. Um, it's also a good idea to update your system. I'm not going to do it, but you might want to update your system after that. So we're going to do a yum search Neiman. Okay, so we, we see a couple um, Neiman um, libraries here, so let's go ahead and install all those. Or I know which ones I want, so I'm going to install those. Yeah, I'm install lib Neiman Neiman or Neiman or dbg. Neiman Devel Neiman Live Status Neiman Rock Neiman Tools Mod Gear and, and Neiman. Okay, um, I think I made a, a, an error here. Okay, well, I don't think we'll need this one, but so again, I installed them all, so that's what it's telling me nothing to do, but go ahead and do the, you know, install them on your computer. Once we install those, we're gonna install um, Thruk, which is the web interface that, um, which the web interface that uses Neiman. So let's go do a yum search for Thruk. 
Okay, so we have a couple here. Um, some of these might have been installed in, in the previous Neiman installation, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. Yum install um, lib rock Neiman rock rock base rock plugin reporting and truck yeah so okay so I had installed them previously and um so this um and this one the uh, truck which is also up here I guess it was it was installed with uh, Neiman installation but that's okay all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable SE Linux. Um, on your system, you can configure it. I'm just gonna disable it. Okay, so it's disabled. Um, you might also want to go to etc sysconfig SE Linux. Oh, bi etc. Sorry about that. Let's see Linux, and then right here where it says so Linux disables, it usually says enforce enforcing. Just change it to disable, and then we're gonna wq to save it. Um, we're gonna clear it. Okay, now we're gonna install the Nagios plugins. Um, Neiman also uses the Nagios plugins. Um, it's very similar to Nagios. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me install Nagios plugins, Nagios plugins, all Nagios plugins, and RPE and NRPE. NRPE is a Nagios remote plugin executor. It's what allows the Neiman monitoring host to monitor remote host. It installs an RPE on the remote host and it, um, it runs a command call, a program called check an RPE, and that runs any script or plugin on the remote host. So let's go ahead and install that. Again, nothing to do. I had already installed them, but on yours, it's going to take a while and it's going to install them all. Once that's installed, um, let's go ahead and open up some ports. Um, I'm going to be using this firewall B, so let me just stop my IP table service, IP tables. Okay, IP tables not loaded. Okay, then. so system CTL enable HTTPD.service system CTL start HTTPD dot service. Um, so let's enable Neiman. System oh, made an error. Sorry about that. Let's start Neiman. Um, Let's also enable thruck. Thruck that service. System CTL start. Thruck. And one last thing we want to enable and start our NRPE. So let's do system CTL enable NRPE. System CTL start. Okay. <clears throat> so now that that's enabled, we have to open up some ports. Um, we're going to open up port 80 and 443, which is what um, Thruck uses. So let's do firewall command permanent zone. I know my zone is public and most likely yours is too.
Okay, so it's already enabled. And then just go ahead and type HTTPS for four, 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 three. Okay, so they were both opened. Um, and then you might you're going to want to reload your your IP tables, your firewall. Sorry. Okay, so once that's fine. Once you open up your ports, we're going to check that the NRPE daemon is functioning properly. So let's so type in user lib 64 nagios plugins check NRPE. And we're going to check the NRPE on our local computer 127.0.0.1. Okay, if you get an error in this port, um, that says check an RPE error can I complete SSL handshake is because you haven't um, you have to type in the loud host what hosts are able to talk to your name and server on etc nagios and rpe.config file so just go ahead and follow this tutorial and you should be able to fix that and once you see this then you we're basically finished so now let's just um, set the new password for thruck so type in HTTP Um, HT password, ISWD, Thruck admin, which is a default administrator for Thruck. So let's type in a new password. Okay, so we updated our password. Once that's done, um, we're going to go to Neiman. So now we're basically done. Let's just go check the Neiman interface. So the way the way you log in into your Neiman is um, you want to use uh, you're going to log into your IP address ifconfig. If you don't have ifconfig in your um, system, you can do yum install group install base. And once you install this, it's going to allow you to use ifconfig command. So my IP address is this one right here. So let's type it in and then you're just gonna do thruck or name it. I think both work. So let's use thruck. And there you go, that's our thruck interface. Um, the reason I'm able to see that again is because I made my virtual machine a physical act as a physical network machine that's why my Mac is able to access it so let's use our Thruck admin there it is and let's type in our password that we updated okay type in wrong password sorry about that and there it is that's our Thruck um, I'll go to services or host preferably uh, let's see, IP address. So there you see it. It's our local host. Um, and you can see that our it's up and running, and that's our Neiman server. Um, I'll make another video on how to add um, new hosts onto this. Um, for now, that's all. Thank you.